Hi everyone, The Mature Simmer here. Welcome to Real Economy Trucking. I'm going to attempt to take these diesel generators from Valenciennes to Polyil. Alright, so here I am. Just need to head, hopefully not too far, because we only have an hour and a half to uh, pick up that load before it's removed. So, kind of had a little bit of a mess getting in here last time, which is why the road in here is not uh, discovered, because I was a poor driver. I'm hoping I'll be a better driver this time. Turn left. So, where's the road? Right there. Wow. It is hard to tell. I'm really not doing a good job of being a good driver to begin with. At the roundabout, take the first exit. So, we'll head exit over. Now. So it's what, 8.04 a.m. I need to be careful, it's only 30 through here. Don't want to damage my truck. But I need to be there basically. Whoop, I should stop. Exit I have a now. yield. I'm in a hurry because I have the hour and a half, but accidents and poor driving again should be avoided. So now when I came through here, I believe there was a bit of a neighborhood and suddenly they had a speed bump, even though in theory I can go 80 or then 50, I think, but still became a little, little crazy. Oh, maybe it was just the, oh no, it's just at the other end. So maybe it's like a crosswalk or something. But I just don't know with these bumps, they're so large, I don't know if you hit them any harder, if they'd be worse or not. But by 9.30... Alright, so we're headed exit up to the now. road here, and hopefully then picking something up Turn left. very quickly so we can get those generators on their way. There's just a lot of speed bumps through town here. Doing pretty well on everything, I think. All right. Yeah, it wasn't, it's telling me four kilometers, so clearly I'm not where I need to be yet. All right, we're through the light. Go straight on. Down to three kilometers, five minutes, so I should be okay. So maybe we're going to that Alton or whatever it is. See how it gets us there. At the roundabout, take the second exit. All right, I don't see anybody coming, so I'm good there. Borat's Pizza. Exit now. I wonder if that's real. I just know there was a. Turn right. Okay, it was like there's two. To, there's a delivery point to the left too. So get ready to turn I hadn't left. looked which company I was heading to, so I was getting a little worried. Turn left. But I think I'm okay here because yeah, it's not quite 8:30, and we're basically here. So I think we just go straight. Oh, those train tracks look like they would have been really bad, but luckily there's no impact to us driving over them. There we go. Now where? Oh, I see. I'm like, where is the point to pick up the load? It's all over now. All right, let's grab the generators. There we go. Still got an hour. Let's do this. Now we have some urgency. It's an important but not an urgent delivery. So we'll see because I only have three hours until I'm required to rest. So unfortunately I had to drive through the night before and that means I get very little daytime driving here. 
and given the speed delivery I may not be able to switch that up here but I'll do the best I can so, I do just really enjoy the different uh, vastly different set of pickup points that I seem to run into here in Euro Truck okay. here we go. there's a lot of similar looking yards and things in American Truck Simulator but Euro Truck there's, there's definitely a lot of variety I certainly don't remember all this kind of train traffic coming in and so forth so I think I gotta go way up there so I've gotta go 305 kilometers 13 minutes of real time so this one isn't too bad it always seems to take a bit longer because you're waiting for traffic and things oh nice dog assume that's a, a guard with a guard dog oh wonder what this Alstom makes that they're that level of security you don't normally have that without something yeah, pretty right. significant right. at least in my experience maybe in Europe it's common to Turn always have right. a guard and a guard dog I don't know Toute direction all directions I believe is what that means Again, I think this means tiny Get forest, but left. I don't know if I'm accurate. Turn left. All right, so we're going into the roundabout near Pizza House. And then I assume we're leaving. The roundabout, take the first exit. All right. Exit now. Perfect. And then hopefully we'll just head out on the expressway here and we'll start hauling away assuming we're not turning there get ready to turn right get ready to turn right I am confused turn right. oh I see okay so we can get on here these are such tight turns I can't not hit the trailer in the back but I think I did okay I didn't get yelled at now here at least you know we've got the trees and whatever that it lets us cut a little better because it is a sharp entrance ramp that is for certain all right uh, we'll let this car go but hopefully we can get in before this truck little under 300 kilometers still to go now that we are moving and we're headed to again Paul I'm not sure P-A-L-U-E-L -E and a company called Nucleon so maybe this is some sort of like nuclear thing I'm assuming that means there's radar timing us right. so that tower right there is probably doing that All right, it's only 50 around here, so everyone's slowing down. That motorcycle should take off pretty quickly, though. They've usually got some pretty good acceleration compared to cars. And there we go. And everybody has good acceleration compared to a truck, so. Voici. One hour twenty six fluid. I don't know what that means. Like, does it mean it's flowing? The traffic is flowing and we don't have any problems where we'd see something else if we did? Don't know. It's probably going to scare me because it's going to beep and I'll think I hit something. Alright. So we'll pay the toll at the end, which is nice. I just do have to remember to use these automatic lanes now question is do I stay on here for a bit uh, it doesn't look like I can I think I'm gonna have to Keep right. take this route around because I'm yellow arrowed from going straight I'll stay over here because I don't know where it needs me to go
guess I'll be in the middle. Alright, well, it didn't tell me anything, so I'm trusting that I just do what I'm doing. There's definitely many more decision points and quick decision points that I need to make here in Europe compared to driving in the US. There's just so much density of roads the road network is, is really kind of impressive. Alright. So, none of those that I know of are something that is going to help me figure out where I'm going. Obviously struggling up this little bit of a hill here. There we go. OMV. Maybe they're putting in a new gas station. Not sure. Keep right and then exit right. Oh, I was going to say maybe I'm going somewhere I've not been, but no. I'm going to join up exit. E44 right. here. And that will obviously then take me back away. I've gone before. Which, again, I have no problem with that. I'm wondering if it's because when we came from Britain, somehow we went this way. Not sure. Nice yellow fields of something. They're all yellow, so they can't be sunflowers. So I'm not sure what kind of crop that is. It's not, not a crop I'm familiar with from the States. Alright, so eight minutes real time, two and a half hours. Oh, speaking of, I do need to rest somewhere. So I do need to be aware of that because I should be resting in an hour and a half. I have to be there in 17 hours, so I can do that. I should have paid attention to that before I began going this way. Alright, there's the town we're headed toward, so. It's on the sign. Hopefully this blue sign is telling me that I can stop and rest. In the U.S. that would be the case. I see gas. Question is, does it give me... Yes, it does. Whoops, that car is really going slow. Alright, so this is good. I don't need gas, but I do need to rest. So let me do that. And we will continue on our way. Go straight on. So, trucks go this way, and for parking we go around. I should be okay here. Seems like a really tight turn. And I'm guessing then. Looks like just stopping on this road, but that seems kind of weird. Maybe oh, I see. Finding I, a new. Route. I can pull into those spaces. I would assume. And it should let me rest here. All right, <sighs> terrific. I'll see you in the in a little bit. It won't be the morning, but I'll see you. Alright, so now we have seven hours. So we had to pay our loan while I was resting. Didn't look like any of my folks finished any jobs. So sadness there. But yes, uh, because I only have seven hours, I understand it's not, uh, not going to be daylight, but once again, we're doing what we need to do to, to do our job. So, kind of what happens with a real economy. Please get by me. Thank you. Let me in, car. Alright, so we don't exit here. The next two exits we skip, if I read that sign correctly. 
and we just continue on so about 150 kilometers so we've gone about half of our distance struggling to speed up here that's for sure Pretty sure the sun is going to be well down before we get there. So the Havre and Paulil, Palul, maybe it's Palul. I don't know. This now does finally look like somewhere I've not been, but once again, given that I'm heading west, and I ultimately want to get into more of Europe. And I want to head east. I'll probably be coming right back this way for my next load. Alright, just about up to top speed. So, let's see. We're on Dieppe, Le Havre's 168, so we're not going as far as Le Havre. But we are going as far as the other two cities on the sign. It's always hard for me to get used to the fact that in Europe the farthest city is at the top. So uh, I always get a little bit confused and then can't react to the sign or comment on it because my brain is frozen processing what I'm seeing that seems strange to it. But yeah, I think one of my drivers had like 19 hours till their delivery. So given that I slept for, I don't know, 10 hours or so, I forget what the European sleep break is. But maybe before I stop next time. Okay, so region of Normandy. So this is where part of France where the Allies came across uh, on shore for D-Day and came through here, I would imagine. So quite, quite many, many years ago. Hopefully nothing like that ever happens again. That was crazy, crazy. I was blessed not to have lived through that, but um, can only imagine what this countryside must have been like, or somewhere nearby at least, as all that was going on. It had to be terrible. Alright, so it's not having me exit here. Keep right, and then exit right. So I exit, well, maybe it is having me exit, exit here. Right. Oh, I guess it is. All right, never mind. Oh, I saw our delivery point. There it is. So I think we have to pay the toll and then finally kind of exit and we'll get down to that road. Obviously turn left at the road from what we saw. But very, very tight quarters again. Just nerve-wracking to drive over here. I don't know how these drivers do it, of these trucks. There's just so little space. Alright, 80 euros. So that is a, a hit against our 515 euros we're going to get paid, but what are we going to do? That's how Get much it costs to, to use the road. Alright, well, if I had to rest or something, I do have somewhere there. So that's good to see. Alright, no one's coming, so we'll just move along. I'm not delivering to EDF, it's Nucleon again. So we can go to 80 kilometers, but
but and we've got 40 kilometers to go, so certainly if we can speed up and move along, that would be a nice thing. So D131 is the road we're on. Got to be really careful about taking a job, although I would think at this point, I'd be getting one local in town here. But if I have options for something nearby, I just have to be careful that I give myself enough time to get there. Because, man, I don't like the situations where I'm just stuck with one location to source the job from here because it just limits my choices if where they need me to haul things is not going in a direction I need. I'd prefer to avoid that, but I may not have a choice. Turn left. Keep saying EDF, but my sim dashboard is telling me something else, but well, I guess we're we're delivering to EDF because <laughs> I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, there's a car behind us, or maybe a truck. Small, like I don't know. I haven't seen pickup trucks over here in Europe, so I don't think those really Turn exist. Right. Whatever this is, it's pretty secure. We've got barbed wire on both sides on top of the fence. So, it's pretty important, whatever it is. They're definitely trying to keep it secure. No got no dog here, but two guards. Alright, well, at least we're on the grounds, I assume. Get ready to turn left. But obviously we've got a little ways to go here. Alright, those are like giant fuel tanks, or that's what I would think they are. They could obviously be holding something totally different, and I wouldn't know. Get ready to turn right. Um, Alright. At the gate there. And then turn it looks right. like. Alright, so we're delivering right there. This is where it ends. So because of the direction I'm headed and the gate, I'm just going to go this way and then swing over and then back up from here. So yeah, four and a half hours till they would be fining me for a late delivery. So this is much better. But we'll get ourselves in there and then hopefully I can find a job from here going somewhere I'd like to go. That would be excellent. Alright, just trying to turn sharp enough that I don't have a problem. I think that worked out pretty well. Alright. So, let's get paid. Let's see, 1700 was where we were at before in our positive space for the last seven days. Next job, unless it's really small, should level us up. All right, 2249. It's excellent. So, thanks again for tagging along. Certainly would appreciate if you'd like the video, if you enjoyed uh, coming along for the ride. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I put out new content. And I hope to see you next time.